Hey guys, Wasteland's over. It's 360 days until the next Wasteland. What are we gonna do? Hey guys, welcome back to the Apocalypse Post. I am Makeshift. Now that Wasteland Weekend is done, that event is so intense and it can be really hard to come back to the real world afterwards. So I wanna give you five ways to decompose I mean decompress after Wasteland Weekend. Here we go. Before we get into that, make sure you hit the subscribe button right here, and right next to it is a little alert button so that you get alerts when I drop a new video. All right guys, number one, find your new Wasteland friends online. They got a bunch of Facebook forums like Wastelander Central and Wastelanders Unite. There's also a really great Reddit thread, and you can check out existing local meetups like the 805 up in Ventura, or start your own where you just get a bunch of Wastelanders together just to shoot the shit and drink some beer. Number two, start building for next year. Now that you've been totally inspired by by all the amazing things the different Wastelanders do, it's time for you to step up your game. So start building up your camp, your vehicles, and your costumes because 12 months happens really fast and there's a lot of other events that you can start showing the stuff off too soon anyway. Which brings me to number three, those other events. So the post-apocalypse genre has inspired a whole lot of events throughout the United States and actually throughout the world. Here's a few of the big ones. There's Uranium Springs in Arizona, Aftermath in Alabama, Nuclanta in Georgia, a bunch of the Jugger events also in Southern California. And there's also other official Wasteland Weekend events, including the Wastelander Ball and the Wasteland Car Show. So make sure to check all of those out. Number four, it's time to catch up on your Mad Max and post-apocalyptic movies. There's always new ones coming out. I think Netflix has plans to release at least one every month, although they're not always that great, but there's some amazing independent gems out there like Wormwood and Cargo. But if I had to pick five, because I love lists of five and 10 and 12, I love lists. Here's my list that you have to see. All of the Mad Max series. There's four movies, watch them all. And then there's Waterworld, which is like the opposite of Mad Max. 21 Days Later completely changed the zombie genre forever. Out of any post-apocalypse movie, I think The Book of Eli feels the most like a video game. It's like Fallout, but in a movie. If there was a Fallout movie, it would be The Book of Eli. Except it would be about someone shot your dad and you got buried and then woke up. Or you were frozen and your child was taken and your wife was killed. But this one's about a Bible. Children of Men is probably the most cinematic out of all of them. And um, bonus, Wally. It's amazing. He's adorable. Eva. Eva. This is so weird. I'm so weird. At number five, you can pre-order a couple of the biggest post-apocalyptic video game releases ever coming up within the next year. One of them is Fallout 76. That's coming out in November. And then, of course, there's The Last of Us number two on PlayStation only and Metro Exodus. Both of those don't have a release date yet, but they look amazing. All right, that's it, guys. I hope you don't suffer from the Wasteland is over blues for very long. Now more than ever, there's so many different things you can do throughout the year to keep that post-apocalyptic festival feel going on, and you'll be able to see all your Wastelander friends. So, see you guys next week.